I have channeled P. Diddy Combs, Sean Combs, Sean Diddy Combs, Puffy, Puff Daddy, Sean Diddy Combs. I have channeled him. And this is what is happening in his deep subconscious mind. I know a lot of y'all don't give a flying flip about Sean Combs or anything that's going on in the media or anything like that. And um, this is uh, a huge distraction from, from, from some very serious things that are going on in our own government, in the world, in the background. But nevertheless, it's happening. And for some reason... I am just extremely attracted to this whole situation. I am, I I mean, we had Epstein, we had R. Kelly before him, all kinds of these guys before him, but, 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 for some reason, this is um, intriguing to me. Perhaps it's because P. Diddy was coming up when I was a teenager, and he was a huge influence on music and life. Um, Perhaps it has some spiritual reason. I'm just not being made privy to just yet. Somehow I am attracted to this situation in a big way, and I just wanted to sit down and uh, read the cards. Just read the cards for Diddy and see what the heck is going on. So um, I channeled him and this is what he has to say. Okay. This is what he has to say. It's very, very interesting. So the nine of pentacles in reverse, this is huge financial setback. First card out sets the tone for everything. Huge financial setback to the king of pentacles, okay? A huge financial setback, and he sees himself as the king of pentacles. The king of pentacles is is power. It's just power. Power all the way around, powerful, okay? So huge financial setback, very, very powerful as how he sees himself, okay? The five of swords. Five of swords talks about a win at all costs mentality. So what he's saying here is that if he can't be the king of pentacles, he doesn't want to be anything at all. Okay. And he will do anything to protect this position in his life. This is his identity. Okay. The devil in reverse comes on top of this and talks about releasing limiting beliefs, detaching. Okay, so as we go through the rest of this story, this will make a whole lot more sense to you. All right, this will make a whole lot more sense. So we have someone who is identifying as someone that is in control and in power and wealthy in their life. And they are holding on to this identity with white knuckle, win at all costs mentality. The devil in reverse. This card is about selling out. Okay, so that's the struggle that he has. He's he is at a crossroads with this two of swords about releasing his limiting beliefs. What are his limiting beliefs? Well, he's at a crossroads about selling out or not selling out. Look, the four of cups, contemplating, reevaluating, thinking about some things, taking advice from people. All right, the chariot in reverse hard stop, no forward momentum. Um, He can't maybe get a hold of his money. He can't, he's not in charge or in control at all with the chariot in reverse. And this is a hard, this is a hard thing for him. Look, nine of pentacles in reverse again, financial setbacks. Okay. So the thing for this person is that he is having a really, really hard time not being in control. He has very, very little control from his position in jail where he is now. Hence the two of swords. He's at a very serious crossroads, obviously, right? Three of swords. There is grief and sorrow and pain in his mind. Eight of pentacles in reverse. Uh, Eight of pentacles in reverse is not being able to work something out. And justice in reverse, injustice. So what he's at the crossroads is, uh, is in his mind, why he is grief stricken in his mind is because if he doesn't play the way that the prosecutors want him to play, he is going to take the fall for everyone. And even though He's willing to take the fall for everyone. 
he's also not willing to let go of his identity as being a power player and in control. So the injustice here with justice in reverse is that he gets screwed either way. He gets screwed either way. If he plays ball with the prosecutors, he gets screwed because when he gets back out on the street, I guarantee you, he's not going to last very long. If he doesn't play ball with the prosecutors, then he will never be able to be in control again. And therein lies the rub, right? If he plays the way that they want him to play, he will get whacked on the street. If he doesn't play the way that they want him to play, he will forever and always be stripped of his control. And therein lies the rub for this person. Princess of Pentacles in reverse. Princess of Pentacles in reverse is an inability to manifest, an inability to grow. Because again, he's screwed either way. The Nine of Swords in reverse, an immense amount of anxiety and despair pain, pain, pain in the mind, an immense amount of anxiety and despair, because if he doesn't play ball with the prosecutors, he's never going to be able to recoup any of his material goods, his his money, his livelihood, the way that this person likes to live. If he does play ball with them, number one, nobody's ever going to do business with him again. And number two, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. If he sells out who these people want him to sell out, they will off him in the end. All right. So either way, he's screwed. Immense amount of anxiety and despair. So this leads us to the Queen of Pentacles. He has someone in his life. um, Can't really say who it is, but he does have someone in his life Hierophant was the root of that Queen of Pentacles right there. Someone in his life that is that he is contractually obligated to, and they are contractually obligated to him. This person is a female. It's a female, absolutely a female, and she is running the show. This is the person that is running, that is in charge of everything that Diddy was doing. There is, if you follow the money, always follow the money, you will find a trail back to this person. This person is in control of everything. And he is somehow contractually obligated to this person. She has a lot of power, a lot of power. To the Ace of Wands, he is depending on her to change this situation for him to the sun and restore the happiness, the success, and the vitality that he had in his life. So he is very much depending on one person to get him out of this whole situation. Someone in the background, a powerful feminine in the background, can pull the strings that need to be pulled to change the course of direction for this whole situation for Diddy. And he's depending on her, depending on her to get him out of this situation justice in the center of the reading. So A, he doesn't have to face justice, and B, it would be justice for this person to do whatever it is that she needs to do in the background to get him out of this situation with her power. You see, but if she gets him out of this situation with her power, then she will turn attention towards herself with that sun card right there. And uh, all eyes will be on her. So is Diddy going to be the sacrificial lamb? And that's what he's asking himself. He's like, I did what I was supposed to do. I did all this shit for the cause. I did what I was supposed to do. And now you have to do what you have to do to get me out of the trouble that I'm in. And she is saying, if I do what I can do to change the direction of this whole situation for you, then all eyes are going to be on me. 
And yes, you are going to be the sacrificial lamb. Justice in the center of the reading by the two of swords, right? He don't know. He don't know. It's in seven of pentacles. He's making a plan. He's taking a step back and he's reflecting and assessing on what it is that he sold out to. Mm -hmm. He's reflecting and assessing on what it is that he sold out to because he sold out to this woman right here. And this woman has power and this woman is controlling everything behind the scenes. Okay. The hermit, the hermit, withdrawal, isolation, um, soul searching and introspection. The hermit also represents him being isolated from the whole rest of the world. Okay. To the high priestess and the nine of cups. This high priestess is this woman right here. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if there is some kind of connection to some darker forces. Um, I don't want to straight up say any kind of like, there is some connection to some darker forces because this woman that he's depending upon to get him out of this situation, she is the high priestess. Okay. He's depending upon the high priestess to change this situation for him. The nine of cups, wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, safety, satisfaction. He is depending upon her to change this situation. Look, the wheel of fortune to change this situation. And guess what? If she doesn't change this situation, four of pentacles in reverse, he's going to go into self-protection mode to the three of cups in reverse, and he's going to reveal all of the third party situations. So if he doesn't play ball with the feds, then that means that this woman is pulling strings to change the dynamics of this situation in whatever woo wooey witchy way that she's going about doing it. If it doesn't change, if she doesn't fulfill her contractual obligation to him because he fulfilled his contractual obligation to her. If she doesn't, then he is going to reveal all of the third party situations involved in this whole Diddy scandal, third party situations. He's going to, he's going to start pointing fingers at everyone because he knows he's a dead man, no matter what. He knows he's a dead man, no matter what. If he doesn't get out, he's a dead man. If he gets out because he named names, he's a dead man. If he gets out with a slap on the wrist, nobody's ever going to do business with him again, ever. The underground stuff that he's doing, nobody's ever going to do business with him because he's going to be hot, 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 hot on the Fed radar list. If he gets out of this with a slap on the wrist, perhaps he is part of the feds somehow, some way. Perhaps that is the situation with the contract over here. Either way, he's screwed and he knows it. He doesn't want to give up what he knows, but he will give up what he knows. The lovers. These are all his people, his tribe. This is, this is his tribe. This is the whole, this is the framework of the obligations between himself and this powerful person right here. The lovers is everybody around it. To the eight of swords in reverse, new perspectives, huh? New perspectives. Why? Two of cups in reverse. Because look, it's right beneath that powerful woman because he feels that she is turning her back on him. Again, the sacrificial lamb, the queen of swords. He needs, he needs this woman, this powerful woman to chop heads and make some decisions. He needs her to do what it is that she's supposed to do according to the agreement that they had that if shit ever goes bad, she's going to fix it for him. Queen of Swords in reverse, but she's not willing to do that. 
She's not willing to do that, and he is at odds with the institution that he serves that got him here in the first place. Three of Wands, and now he's having some foresight. Starting to see the forest through the trees a little bit to the Three of Pentacles. Starting to think about some teamwork and some collaboration in the situation to the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Because if he keeps doing things the way that he's always done it, he's just going to get what he's already got. If he keeps being loyal to this institution that this powerful woman is in charge of, then he's going down either way to the Page of Swords. And he's going to talk. He's going to talk. He's going to talk. If he has to talk, if they don't help him, he's going to sell them all out. And that goes back to being in control with the King of Pentacles, right? I might be going down for this because y'all have turned your back on me, but I'm taking you with me. Control. Prince of Swords in reverse, but he's not talking yet. He's not talking yet to the two of wands in reverse because he's waiting to see what's going to happen. He's waiting to see if, because remember, it's very hard for him because he's not in control of anything anymore. Not too much he can do from behind the behind bars, okay? And it's, I feel, such a huge sense of frustration all over this reading. He's not used to not being in control and it's been stripped from him and he doesn't like it at all. So he's not talking just yet because he wants to see how things shake down. The Five of Wands, conflict, the High Priestess in reverse, talking about what is hidden, okay? So not talking yet about what is hidden. He's still conflicted whether he wants to, to, to vomit everything out on the table for these guys to save his own ass or not. He's conflicted. But you know what you don't know here, um, and this is important, and um, I don't know how to say this, but the five of wands, the conflict, the high priestess in reverse, what he's keeping to himself is death. Um, I think in the end, um, he will unalive himself. Um, I do. Because this is a, there, there is no winning in this situation for him. Let me recap that for you. All right. If he does play ball with the prosecutors and he starts naming names and it goes all the way back deep into this very powerful woman right here who is in charge of a very powerful institution that he is depending upon to save his ass in this situation. If he starts naming names like the feds want him to, they are going to unalive him. If he doesn't play ball and he doesn't name names like they want him to, and he goes to prison, he is going to be unalived in prison. If he, if they save him and he beats this whole thing and he gets out on the street again, nobody will ever do business with him. He's ruined. He is ruined. And if that's the case, then he is going to take matters into his own hands with that death card. Page of Pentacles in reverse because no one's ever going to do business with me again. How am I going to maintain my life, my reputation? Remember, his identity is everything to him. Hmm. To the sun in reverse, I can't see a way out of this. I, I can't see any way out of this. The only way that I still have control is if I name names or... If I utilize my own ability to unalive myself to the princess of swords, talking to the feds, the nine of wands, holding tight, fighting the good fight, fighting the good fight. I think, it, I think these two cards are talking about buying some time, buying some time, buying some time, waiting for this person back here to do what they're supposed to do to change the outcome of this situation for him. And I don't think it's a lawyer, okay? It's not legal representation. It is the person that he is in some kind of blood contract to, okay? It's deep and it's dark 
and she's in control of it all. She calls the shots. He's just a pawn in the game. She calls the shots. She calls the shots for them, and he is a part of them. Hangman in reverse. Hanged man. Don't be surprised if if uh, he doesn't uh, H-A-N-G himself. If he chooses to to utilize his power in that death card right there, don't be surprised if it's not um, with the hanged man right here. Don't be surprised. More importantly, though, this card is about pausing, waiting, waiting. He's waiting. He's buying time while he waits for this to all work in the background. Because for some reason, he has a lot of faith that these people are going to honor what their agreement was. And the Six of Wands. Success. He's waiting for success. He knows that if these people take the action that they're supposed to take, he's going to walk away from all of this. Queen of Wands in reverse. Queen of Wands in reverse is about egocentric, self-centered insecurities this is this is this is who he is at the core and the only thing that fulfills him is deriving his sense of self-worth from the admiration of everyone around him that's the only thing that drives this man to temperance again waiting it out what's he waiting for the princess of cups communication the go-ahead the green light we got you we have everything in place we found the prosecutor or the person or the judge or whatever that we can get our claws into he owes us he owes us this or he owes us that and he's going to intervene in this whole situation we got you that's what he's waiting for with that princess of cups right there and the hangman and temperance. Judgment. He's waiting for judgment in his favor because he's depending upon the person who's running the show in the background of all of this to come through for him. Judgment. He's, he's waiting for judgment in his favor to the ten of pentacles so he can get his hands on his assets and his resources. So he can get his hands on his assets and his resources. The star in reverse. But if he doesn't, if there's not renewal of the situation, king of swords, his drop dead serious decision, death card is the death card. Because he knows he's a dead man walking. He knows that he's going down any way the ball bounces. This man is going down and he's going down hard and he has his doubts that his people are going to get him out of this situation to the ten of pentacles in reverse the loss of everything the loss of everything equals the death card and then the fool new beginning new journey new direction freedom this is him choosing to maintain control and and unaliving himself in order to be in control tell me about the fool tell me one card about the fool yeah look the queen of pentacles because either she's going to save him from all of this or she's not tell me one more about the fool yeah, look, she's going to save him from the overwhelming burden. There's going to be some kind of inspired action where he can step out of the crumbling of his life right now. So imagine this. Imagine these people back here, this powerful woman, this powerful institution. They pull some strings. They get someone to do something somehow, some way. And in the end, the, the, the justice for Diddy, in his opinion, is that everybody sees this as perfectly consensual behavior. Nobody was harmed in the situation. Diddy didn't harm anybody because he didn't actually do it to do it himself. 
He just told people what to do and then filmed it for his own gratification. That is a loophole. It's an absolute loophole. And perhaps if he does get off with nothing but some, maybe some minor charges, okay, and then he returns to the scene, he's going to be all the glory because Diddy has the freak offs. Diddy's the man. Diddy beat the system. Diddy's the man. And that way he can keep doing what he's always been doing, which is darkness, even if he beats the charges. And he's depending upon the people in the background to do that for him because that is his only hope of restoration. If they don't change this situation, he's going to name names because he knows he's a dead man either way. He's either going to be a dead man in prison, he's going to be a dead man on the street, or he's going to be a dead man in the industry and never be able to be anybody ever again. And that is worse than death for him. Huh. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. That is my take, my channeling of Sean P. Diddy Combs. Take it for what it's worth. Namaste.